guys welcome back i think you're able to hear me clearly in this session i'm going to discuss one interesting question asked by a student and that question is asked to the student by his teacher in a viva voce in laboratory and some students do say this is what one of the popular interview questions because they are asked this question they are, they got this question in the interview sessions also the question is very simple an amazing question okay i think a lot of you might be knowing the answer but for those who don't know the answer i am explaining that first let me give the question the question is like this you know the transformer let me take step up transformer okay so i have a step up transformer let's take 1 is to 2 ratio step up transformer okay so i am giving here 100 volts and let's take when i connect some load to this when i connect some load so you are getting uh it is driving some current of oops it is driving some when i'm connecting some load to this okay so it is driving here this current is 10 ampere this current is 10 ampere what will be this current if this connection is made what will this obviously once this connection is made then only this current will flow okay so let's take ideal ideal case let's take just an ideal case ideal transformer so what will be the current here what will be the current here here the current is pretty much known to you 5 ampere okay the question now is here 100 volts 10 ampere here 200 volts 5 ampere according to ohm's law voltage is proportional to current or current is proportional to voltage okay this is what the condition so if sir here current is 10 ampere voltage is this much but when comes to the secondary side voltage has increased so according to ohm's law if voltage is increased by two times current also should increase by two times that's what exactly ohm's law this is ohm's law right but it is having inverse relation this is it appears like we are having a case this is not obeyed here ohms law is not obeyed ohms law is violated here that's a question that's a question can you write in the comment what do you think what will the answer just write in the comment okay meanwhile i'll explain this is a good one see guys when it is asked for ohms law when it is said ohms law even in bulb cases also i have clearly explained all different cases of bulbs okay so voltage is proportional to current when resistance is fixed resistance is fixed then v is equal to i into r okay now whatever it is now the question is sir here resistance is fixed i am not changing the resistance resistance is fixed okay ohms law you have to apply here independently it's not sir voltage has increased so current should reduce sorry uh, current also should increase that's not the case this voltage is different this voltage is different these are two decoupled circuits electrically but magnetically magnetically coupled circuits so when you see 200 volts it is driving 5 ampere so this this must be let's say this must be 50 this must be 40 this must be 40 ohms this is 40 ohms if you apply 200 volts if you have 200 volts if you keep 40 ohms then current will be 5 ampere now if you increase this resistance to 50 ohm the resistance sorry the current will come down to 4 ampere okay so this is a different circuit altogether this is a different circuit altogether now when it comes to these two when it comes to this transformer itself 
this box itself here we are having magnetically coupled circuits it's like you are inducing emf you're actually generating emf okay but i'll not call it as generating emf i'm actually enhancing emf by using number of turns so there is nothing like you have to apply ohm's law here there is no resistance or there is nothing load corrected here to apply ohm's law over here this is just emf transformation emf is getting transformed so don't try to apply ohm's law here when when you want to apply ohm's law you have to have yes an element load load side is there you have this is emf and now this is where you have to apply your ohm's law all right this is like emf is faraday's law emf is getting induced higher the number of turns you give it higher voltage will be induced even increase the, that's what the beauty of the transformer okay so here why current is reduced means because power is constant power is constant okay so as power is constant apparent power okay voltage is increased so current will reduce why power is constant and all i think that they are pretty much discussed in everywhere in every textbook every teacher will talk about it but this point people do get confused you guys don't get confused about it okay yes guys is there any other queries if you have any other queries please feel free to ask us on whatsapp because a student have asked us this doubt and we got this similar doubts in the previous session also so that so that's why i, I thought of clarifying it okay ohm's law independent circuit you have to apply ohm's law if you have to apply you have to apply for the with respect to the source and the load okay or else you want to completely take this one as a source you want to take this one as a source and this one as a load yeah look at it look at it you increase this you increase this what will happen this current will reduce and this current will reduce okay you increase this this current will increase if this is increased this current will increase that's naturally will happen so when you want to see ohm's law you can just look, focus on this or focus on this but here there is nothing called load it is faraday emf inducing all right that's it guys that's end of this i think uh, we got some answers also uh, transformer is magnetical coupled device electrically isolated device well done maduteja okay yeah if you have any further queries please ping us and our courses guys do not wait do not wait i think the planner whatever you have for ap transco get on to the planner okay and we have courses live with lifetime validity not all courses some courses you just download the app where you will see lifetime validity courses okay or you want to watch it for one month just 190 rupees 190 rupees you just pay for it and you will be able to access one month course amazing courses these courses not all courses huh? the best courses by kian rouser and other very well taught teachers okay so just make use of it if you want a full ap transco course just go for ap transco there you will have ap transco course which is live for 6 months okay and do not wait for anything do not wait for even us wherever you feel like to uh, get the concepts just go for it grab the concepts your objective is to crack the subject not the exam subject will take care of the exam you take care of the subject you just crack the subject that will take care of the exam all right that's the end of the session guys see you in the next session with the help of another beautiful question if you have anything have a good time bye bye